Short term rentals are a controversial topic here in the Lowcountry, especially in our beach communities. Local governments have put ordinances and regulations into place to control vacation rentals, but a new bill up for discussion in the State House tomorrow could take that power away. Emily Zuhowski explains why. James Island, it's, it's a neighborhood community. Adam Moore lives in the town of James Island and says a noisy Airbnb has disrupted his quiet neighborhood. You're getting 14 people, bachelor parties, bachelorette parties. Um, you know, my son, he's 10. We go to school, we gotta be there at seven in the morning. And um, you know, there are multiple times where we've been woken up 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Uh, because of the raging parties going on. In the town of James Island, property owners are not allowed to rent their home out as a short term rental less than 30 days if the home is not occupied by the owner. I think, you know, towns and cities should be able to make their own ordinances and laws based on you know, the citizens and how they feel about it. But a bill coming before the South Carolina House of Representatives Municipal and Public Affairs Subcommittee tomorrow could change that. If signed into law, South Carolina House Bill 3253 would prohibit local governments from enacting or enforcing ordinances, resolutions, or regulations that prohibit short-term rentals. It would also put penalties on municipalities that do. They would have to be taxed at 4% instead of 6% investment property rate and would not be able to receive any distributions from the local government fund. Folly Beach rental property owner Tom Powers is all for it. There is thousands and thousands of people in these communities that love those communities. They're heavily invested in it. They have family legacy there and they have no say against a minority of people that quite often aren't even from the area telling them what they can do with their property. It's just not fair. In Folly Beach, the number of short term rental licenses is currently capped at 800 and the city is not accepting applications at this time because the cap has been exceeded. They basically cut their leg off to fix a problem with their little toe. I also spoke to State Representative Marvin Pendarvis, who is on that subcommittee. He tells me he's been hearing from people on both sides of this issue constantly. He also tells me he has some serious concerns and he will be addressing those concerns tomorrow morning. Reporting in West Ashley, Emily Zuhowski, Live 5 News.